The Holy Quran, Surah 7, Al-Araf, The Heights In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful Alif, Lam, Mim, Sa'd A scripture was revealed to you, so let there be no anxiety in your heart because of it, you are to warn with it, and a reminder for the believers. Follow what is revealed to you from your Lord, and do not follow other masters beside him, little you recollect. How many a town have we destroyed? Our might came upon them by night, or while they were napping. When our might came upon them, their only cry was, We were indeed wrongdoers. We will question those to whom messengers were sent and we will question the messengers. We will narrate to them with knowledge, for we were never absent. The scales on that day will be just. Those whose weights are heavy, it is they who are the successful. But as for those whose weights are light, it is they who have lost their souls, because they used to mistreat our revelations. We have established you firmly on earth, and made for you in it livelihood, but rarely do you give thanks. We created you, then we shaped you, then we said to the angels, Go down before Adam, so they bowed down, except for Satan, he was not of those who bowed down. He said, What prevented you from bowing down when I have commanded you? He said, I am better than he, you created me from fire, and you created him from mud. He said, Get down from it. It is not for you to act arrogantly in it, get out. You are one of the lowly. He said, Give me respite, until the day they are resurrected. He said, You are of those given respite. He said, Because you have lured me, I will waylay them on your straight path. Then I will come at them from before them, and from behind them, and from their right and from their left, and you will not find most of them appreciative. He said, Get out of it, despised and vanquished. Whoever among them follows you, I will fill up hell with you all. And you, Adam, Inhabit the garden, you and your wife, and eat whatever you wish, but do not approach this tree, lest you become sinners. But Satan whispered to them, to reveal to them their nakedness, which was invisible to them, he said, Your Lord has only forbidden you this tree, lest you become angels, or become immortals. And he swore to them, I am a sincere advisor to you. So he lured them with deceit, and when they tasted the tree, their nakedness became evident to them, and they began covering themselves with the leaves of the garden. And their Lord called out to them, Did I not forbid you from this tree, and say to you that Satan is a sworn enemy to you? They said, Our Lord, we have done wrong to ourselves, unless you forgive us, and have mercy on us, we will be among the losers. He said, Fall, some of you enemies to one another, on earth you will have residence and livelihood for a while. He said, In it you will live, and in it you will die, and from it you will be brought out. O children of Adam! We have provided you with clothing to cover your bodies, and for luxury, with the clothing of piety, that is best. These are some of Allah's revelations, so that they may take heed. O children of Adam! Do not let Satan seduce you, as he drove your parents out of the garden, stripping them of their garments, to show them their nakedness. He sees you, him and his clan, from where you cannot see them, we have made the devils friends of those who do not believe. And when they commit an indecency, they say, We found our parents doing this, 
and Allah has commanded us to do it. Say, Allah does not command indecencies. Are you attributing to Allah what you do not know? Say, My Lord commands justice, and to stand devoted at every place of worship, so call upon Him, and dedicate your faith to Him alone, just as He originated you, so you will return. Some He has guided, and some have deserved misguidance, they have adopted the devils for patrons rather than Allah, and they assume that they are guided. O children of Adam! Dress properly at every place of worship, and eat and drink, but do not be excessive. He does not love the excessive. Say, who forbade Allah's finery which he has produced for his servants, and the delights of livelihood? Say, they are for those who believe, in this present world, but exclusively theirs on the day of resurrection. We thus detail the revelations for people who know. Say, my Lord has forbidden immoralities, both open and secret, and sin, and unjustified aggression, and that you associate with Allah anything for which he revealed no sanction. And that you say about Allah what you do not know. For every nation is an appointed time. When their time has come, they cannot delay it by one hour, nor can they advance it. O children of Adam! When messengers from among you come to you, relating to you my revelations, whoever practices piety and reforms, upon them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. But as for those who reject our revelations, and are too proud to accept them, these are the inmates of the fire, where they will remain forever. Who does greater wrong than he who invents lies about Allah? or denies his revelations. These, their share of the decree will reach them. Until, when our envoys come to them, to take their souls away, they will say, Where are they whom you used to pray to besides Allah? They will say, They have abandoned us. And they will testify against themselves that they were faithless. <laughs>